अरे waiting for such a long time to project the children's concern and i am really it's a great day for me because i could interact with the students i could interact with the faculty members and i could interact with the non teaching staff and i visited the mess i visited the hostels when the children uh, actually interacted with me i could uh, meet the children separately in groups i mean personally also particularly the girl children i visited even not only the hostel rooms the mess rooms but all the washrooms also i visited and i could find some of the problems which are very much of very much concern and uh, the children's demand are very simple and it is their right to expect those facilities in an institution like this and i really appreciate the conviction of the students one of the student told we are from a big background but i am not a big person we may be from a non bright uh, families but i want to become a bright student so they are they want to come up in life and they are expecting some basic facilities first of all uh, now i am happy that uh, professor venkatramana vice chancellor is residing inside and i told i have uh, found out so many so much of problems positively i will uh, convey to you and this should be uh, take it in a constructive way and it should be rectified very simple uh, uh, necessity that uh, children are expecting for 8500 students their library facilities are uh, uh, much limited and uh, they want more computers they want more another thing laptop has been stopped from 2017 every child had been uh, provided with laptop it is not given and they want to come up in sports a large number of uh, achievers are here school achievers are there they are not given any opportunity to take part in sports activities and their basic requirement is mess mess so they want a uh, good food hygienic food and they want uh, good washrooms and good uh, hostel rooms and this all uh, very basic need of uh, students and uh, it is very unfortunate that uh, it has not been uh, taken care previously but now uh, i interacted with them and first of all first i thought on a sunday should i come because that's only day which i had a free time but uh, because i came on a sunday they were they are not confined to the classes so maximum number of students uh, i could meet and uh, so i will convey what all the problem security problems also they have and because they did some agitations they are watched more and they are unable to move freely in the campus these all the concerns of the children and i met the professors also there is some vacancy a significant percentage of vacancies also there so i have assured them first i have given a moral support to them the highest offices with them and i told they have to the concerned authorities i will put pressure on the concerned authorities and i will uh convey the problems of the students so that in a time bound manner uh, the problems are solved and uh, i have given assurance to the children and i first i asked them to go ahead with their studies and some of them wanted to do research activities for their facilities are not there and they are very aware and they are malnourished i actually uh, they will uh, from uh, very uh, economically compromised background so i have appealed the uh, vice chancellor to have a medical checkups and i met the doctor groups also doctors also so i think within some limited time i have completed maximum interactions with maximum groups and uh, from today they are uh, problem should be one by one solved 
uh, and uh, I am really confident it could be done. And really the sufferings are, uh, should be dealt with much concern. They, after all, they are children. Madam, one more question. Uh, will, uh, actually use my, uh, I will uh, put my efforts to do some help to the uh, family. Madam, because it, you are seeing a historical visit, because Basara is uh, celebrating 14th anniversary, which is established. We are there to make history, Because <laughs> because we fought for our rights. I have informed the um, vice chancellor. Please make the children free because after all, two, after two years they have come to the university and they want to roam with our uh, be friendship friends friendly with their uh, friends. So be cautious. They should be safe. But I also have because uh, some girl children also uh, conveyed this with concern. They are not uh, freely moving. So. But they have to move freely, that also I have assured. Come and as a catalyst, I have learnt all the problems because I, I always, I already told. So as a mother I came and, and, uh, uh, and I was working as an assistant professor also, so as a faculty also I can understand the problems. So I have learnt, and as a doctor can diagnose things very clearly, you know. I am a good doctor also. So, so, so a problem. But yeah, definitely the disease will be active. And they told today it was very uh, nice. So every day you come, they told me. <laughs> <laughs> and it is all uh, madam, madam, have madam, a positive madam, feedback. Madam, so madam, that, madam, but madam. I will put my pressure on the. <laughs>